ready for this game. It's going to be a tough one. They're going to hit you too. Those guys will hit. Focus on what I'm going to tell you. I spent all weekend studying this team. What I'm going to give you are all the tendencies and things I found out about this team. This is where this is where the ballers step out. NCS time is when the football players step forward. And all the mediocre guys kind of just fade back. And let the ballers take over. Now, which one do you want to be? Or you? Or him? Or you? As you're down the stretch. You're fighting for an undefeated season. You don't want to end your season with a loss. You could lose during the season sometimes and rebound and, re and right yourself again. You lose this, you end the season on a loss, that, you can't right yourself. That's the end of it. You can't come back and redeem yourself. You don't want to lose these last, next two games. You want to prep as best you can and focus yourself and really go after it. We've lost games in the regular season in the past and rebounded and won the NCS titles. And that's all, that's all good. That was all okay. That means we got better. You're not gonna have any second shots from here on out. This is it. I'm just, I'm kinda, you know, starting to get a little bit sad about leaving because I don't want to leave this team and I don't want to leave all of my friends out here. But in the, you know, in a way I know I have to grow up. It's a part of growing up. I feel like I've grown up 30 years this year. It's been super hard. I, like I've had confrontations with both of these guys sitting here. Sometimes it ain't always about chasing somebody down and trying to make them do the right thing. Sometimes you got to give a little bit. There's a lot of things like that that I've learned this year that the only way, you know, you think you can prepare yourself so well that Nothing bad can happen to you, but then, you know, I realized this year all that preparation is only to make you stronger when those hard times do come. The mental preparation and the hard work that you put in, that work is to prepare you and make you stronger to pull yourself back out of the hole and come back the next day or the next week and, you know, perform better as a person than as a player. Sometimes, you know, I want these days to go slow, practice to go slow. I want everything to be going slow so I can just take it in, you know, and just feel the love for the last time. <clears throat> I ain't gonna feel this nowhere else. I was an individual up until my senior year. During the year, I was out for personal stats, uh, out for my own personal glory, my interceptions, my all uh, leagues, whatever. I don't really know when the turning point was. Maybe when I, uh, when Matt kind of, when he had tears in his eyes, I think that might have been the turning point in my way of thinking. Like the next week would be the game. Me and Dio kind of slacking a little bit. We were better than other people because, you know, because of where our talent had taken us, not really because of where our hard work was at. They were working out uh, after practice late, and we had already came in, and G came in the locker room, he was in tears, and he just started yelling at me. He said, you're just doing enough to get by, you're not doing enough to get better. And I was like, man, I ain't trying to hear this. And I just tried to put my stuff in my locker and just uh, went home. I said, man, I gotta call Matt, I gotta see, you know, see what, it, you know, see what the problem was. I called him Matt, I was like, I was like, man, what was the matter? And then he just broke it all down. He, he said, you know, what do you, you know, you know, you, you know, I consider you. And I was like, no, he's like, I, I consider you as one of my best friends. You know, when he said that right there, honest to God, he put me in tears. You know, just, you know, just how much, you know, love he had for me, you know, and where he really held me in his heart. Kind of made me think, and from that point on, never rejected anything, always went 100% to everything. Because I mean, I just, right there, understood how much it meant to him, you know, how much it meant to everybody, and just, you know, just, just click right there. You know, you get past the football stuff and really, you know, start building a relationship that you're gonna have for the rest of your life with these people. Football is a great sport, but it's a lot better when you play with people that love you and you love them, you know. I have a lot of respect for the, this team, for San Leandro. I do. Those dudes stepped up and kicked, kicked the idiot right off the bat last year. Everybody's going, whoa. Wow, where did they come from? We're De La Salle. If some guys want to call it a curse, I say that's the blessing of De La Salle. You got to go out every week and prove it. So when you show up tomorrow, 
Whatever it is that excites you, whatever it is that's going to get you at your, a, bring your A game, and your A heart, you bring it, and you do it. And I don't know what that is for each and every one of you. What is it that gets your heart swollen? Hopefully, it's going to be that last chapter in the book that you've written for yourself this year. And I'd like to say, I'd like to t uh, call that last chapter just what, uh, just what Coach Etson called it. Last chapter of the book isn't the NCS 3A title or San Leandro, it's Brotherhood. That's what it should be titled. Because just as he said, if that does mean anything to you, you will play like it. That means everybody else is counting on everybody else in here to bring their A game and to bring their heart to that game. It's not coming in and hiding and saying, oh yeah, Demetrius will bust one eye or Kevin's gonna run hard. Kevin will run hard or Johnny will run a punt back. That's all bull. It's gonna be earned by you and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you if you get in, and you on the kickoff, that's how the game's going to be won. It ain't going to be won by D or John. Sorry, I hate to disappoint you if you're thinking that. I don't think you are, but I just want to make sure. Remember one other thing. <laughs> Nobody on this staff expects you to play perfect tonight. It's impossible. But what we do expect, and you should expect from yourself and each other, is a perfect effort. Follow through on your commitments tonight. Play hard and strong and confident. Understand that there's a lot of plays in the game, close to 130 plays or more. And you can't dwell on one or two. I truly believe that life's most impressionable lessons, ones you will never forget and that are life changing, are the kind of lessons where you are under adversity. When something bad happens to you or something challenging confronts you and that's where you'll learn your lesson. I want to put it in its proper perspective. This is football, and it's fun in entertainment and games. That's all true. But nevertheless, you're in a very combative and competitive situation tomorrow night. And that is where you are gonna find out about yourself. When you take that field, when a play comes into the huddle that has your name on it, no one can climb into your head and hear what that little voice is saying to you. Is it saying, oh no? What's it gonna say? You're gonna find out about yourself. And you know something? That that's the thing about a team. So is everybody else. See, this is an opportunity for you to grow. This is an opportunity for you to turn a corner and say, I stared something difficult in the face and did something about it and made a difference. It's time for you guys to decide who you want to be and define yourself as a team. You can't, like Herb says, you can't wait any longer. If I was to give you guys a grade, your midterm, your mid-season grade, you got about a C. And there's too many good athletes, potentially good athletes in this room to say that. Tomorrow's another opportunity. It's time to step. It's time to go. The light is green. This team will never be considered a great team or a good team until you, you completely own it yourself. You got a stretch coming down the road It's going to challenge you. And I don't want to lead you into it. I want to be the guy in the back. I want to be the real general that amasses all their guys in front of them and says, go, go get them. That's the way it's got to be. And then you guys turn around and then you're gone. I don't want any of you guys on Friday night coming back to be going, we can't run this play, run that play. I'm running anything, and we better make yards on it. Tonight, those kids, they were going to run themselves into the ground like a racehorse. Some of them, I, I was feeling like they're, by any moment, they were going to just drop from exhaustion. That's how hard they played. That's how, how much they gave. And uh, 
it was inspiring. It was, it, it was so impressive to see young kids which, with such um, determination. When you see it like that, the way they, the way they did it, it's, uh, it's a rare find. And, and then since I'm in the business of working with kids and trying to bring some of that stuff out in them, it was like a, it was like a huge victory. And I don't mean on the field. I just mean validating my work. Who's got the passion every week? Who's gonna grow in here and step up? Y'all want to be anonymous? You guys, all a lot of time I look at it, heads down and look staring at the ground. Won't look anybody in the face. Where's your guts? Where's your courage? And I don't mean just getting on a field and hitting somebody. That's not the guts and courage I'm talking about. And you guys just want to sit there. Say, hey, we had we had our pregame meeting. We went through the motion and did it. We're ready now. We're ready for Pittsburgh. Oh, really? Are you? Well, keep trying to convince yourself that. It seemed like that team had a lot of guys leading by example. And on any, on any good team, there's got to be a guy that, uh, you know, finally says something to somebody and gives that peer leadership through words. You know, I talk to my brothers about every week. They tell me how, you know, St. Mary's part of the state is just not the same. You know, they go two and eight. You know, here you go 10 and up. Oh. And you don't have that copy, you don't have that type of unity that you have at the other schools. I mean, right here, it's not gonna get any better. No matter where you go, what other team you play on, you're gonna have these people that you know right here for life. You know what I'm saying? We're not just gonna walk away. It's different. It's a family. It's a whole different ball game. And they're not just, you know, at other places they're playing football. Right here we're, we're doing it. It's like a kind of life that we have here. Every senior should say something tonight. Talk about the experience that they had. Okay, now you're working 12 and much. Y'all ain't got to say about it. Most last spend every single day on this football team. And y'all can't say nothing? That just doesn't make sense to me. All these coaches, they ain't got to be here. They ain't getting paid for this. You guys can't talk. I think that's just disrespect. Honestly, uh, our team is underachievers. I honestly think that's where we are right now. I mean, we have three weeks to improve. So. I'm gonna go full throttle, though. I, I mean, I know, you know, this is the last three weeks, you know, of my football career, not high school football career, but football career. And I, and I know I want to go with the bang. That's, that's a definite. It's not about what's on the scoreboard. You know, it's about what you feel inside about the team. That's what it's really about, how you win the games, not that, that you are actually winning them. I told you before, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Growing up is painful. It's not easy. But that's what our program is about, in case you haven't figured it out. It ain't about the football. It ain't about scoring touchdowns. It ain't about the win streak. It's about moving you in a direction that will assist you and help you grow up. So when you can take your place out in the world and out in society and out in our community, you can be depended on. And we're going to find out if you guys can grow up or you want to remain as children. Just to clarify a little bit more about what the uh, coaches were talking about, what they're saying is there's an element missing in the, on this team. What's missing? You know what's missing they are talking about today. It's your heart. It's your guts. It's your belief in each other. It's your belief in the team. That's why there's that little voice in the back of your head thinking the shoe's gonna drop and we're gonna lose. And I think you're waiting for next week for it to happen. Everyone's talking to you saying, well, you can't win them all, and it's, this streak is bound to lose, uh, go away. And you're bound to lose sooner or later, and I think you've all believed it. When it happens, you're all gonna blame each other. That's what's gonna happen. You're all gonna blame each other. It wasn't me. 
I think you guys are petrified of modern day. I really do. I could see it in your faces. I could see it in your work ethic. As I watched that modern day film all this week. And that team is beatable. By this team, by more than one touchdown. But you don't believe it. And that's really something that's going to have to change if we want to, if we want to do this this year. And um, have a good season. I think um, we're, not, we're not confident enough, especially with our alignment. You guys aren't confident in your abilities to um, make blocks and get downfield and hit people. And I don't see why that is. We've been working since January. Everyone on our team, we just need to find something to play for. Just have, just have a purpose to play for, whether it's for your teammates, for our coaches. So we owe them a lot. There's no way that we're going to lose this year if we do what we need to do. And right now, we're not doing that. And that's just going to have to change tomorrow if we want to get ready for next week. So I bet you that amount of day is going to be... If I ever lost a team two years in a row, I want to tear somebody's head off. They've been working with their coaches all summer long on routes, on defenses, probably watching films of us. We're capable of blowing teams out. We got the talent. We worked all year for this. Now we just got to apply ourselves and just find that to your heart. Right here, in your heart. Play for your teammates. What is it that you really believe about yourself? Do you really believe that about yourself? I'm just a dud. I can't get the job done. Someone else helped me. Someone saved me. Someone else come first. This is an individual thing you gotta work on between now and tomorrow night. And for the rest of your life, it doesn't stop tomorrow night. You're gonna work on it till the day you die, till the day they close the casket on you. That's something you have to work on. It's something all of us have to work on. It doesn't stop when you're 46 years old. I'm 46 years old, I'm as old as your parents. Does it stop when I'm, you're that age? No. Because you have to make commitments and promises your whole life. And you have to make new ones and different ones. You have to just keep growing. This is why you're here. This is why you're doing this. This is why we take this game seriously. It's not that we keep a winning streak alive is to make you guys, to help you, to assist you, to try to point you in the right direction to be great people. Guys that can be depended on, guys with integrity, guys with honesty, guys that are tough, guys that are hard. That's our job. Not just to help you guys be that way, to keep trying to make ourselves that way too. We're not asking anything of you that we're not trying to do ourselves. You better get ready for this game. It's going to be a tough one. They're going to hit you too. Those guys will hit. Focus on what I'm going to tell you. I spent all weekend studying this team. What I'm going to give you are all the tendencies and things I found out about this team. This is where, this is where the ballers step out. NCS time is when the football players step forward. And all the mediocre guys kind of just fade back. And let the ballers take over. Now, which one do you want to be? Or you?